Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa. So today I am going to be doing the spring clean and book tag. So I wasn't tagged by anybody to do this tag. I just think it sums up kind of like my life right now because I have been doing major spring cleaning and purging and just getting rid of stuff. So I just think this tag is like perfect for me. Um, so before I get into the tag, I really want to share with you guys an announcement. So I have been selected to be a part of the Enchanted Fandoms Influencer Program. And uh, if you guys don't know what Enchanted Fandoms is, it's like a website that uh, does a lot of different fandom items. Like they do mugs and cups and um, just all kinds of different things. They also have a monthly box where they uh, do a theme uh, each month and they send out fandom items pertaining to that theme. And I think, I'm not sure if I unboxed their one Nerdy Girl box. I think I might have. If I did, I'll leave it linked down below because I can't remember if I unboxed that on, on this channel or not. But I really enjoyed their Nerdy Girl box. Um, but you guys should definitely check out their channel or their website. They have a website. They have an Etsy, Etsy shop. Uh, they just have some of the cutest items. So you'll see some unboxings from, from them. Uh, in the next couple of weeks or so or months or so. I'm really excited to be a part of this. I love supporting small businesses. So I'm really excited to be a part of this. So um, since I am a part of this program, I have a coupon code for you guys. My coupon code is Sassy Ginger. So if you go to their website or their Etsy shop and order anything, you will get 10% off your entire order. So definitely check it out uh, and use my code. So I'm really excited. This is my first time having a code for you guys. So I'm really excited, but you guys should definitely check it out. Um, so now that I'm done with my announcement, let's get into this tag. Question number one is the struggle of getting started. A book that you have struggled to get started because of its size. So honestly, I could have went, oh, like tons of different ways with this one. I have so many books on my shelves that are really big and have lots of pages to them. They're just massive books. So I just kind of randomly picked one. Um, so the one I picked was Renegades by, by Marissa Meyer. I can't talk today for some reason. This book is huge. I think it's over like 550 pages. So it's a tome. It's huge. Um, so yeah, I have struggled to get into this one because it's just so big. But it is a series that, series, I think it is. Yeah, it's a series. I think it's a series. Or a duology. I'm not sure. But I have been struggling to get to it. Um, I do want to get to it soon because I have been really enjoying the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So this is a series I do want to get to. Um, but I think this is about superheroes, honestly. I don't remember. Um, I think it's about superheroes. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't actually remember for sure, but it is a book series that I will eventually get to, eventually, but it is, it is, it is huge. I can't even talk today. So, question number two, cleaning out the closet, name a book or series you want to unhaul. So, honestly guys, I don't have a book to show you because Usually when I read a book and I don't like it, I don't keep it. Anything like three stars and under, I usually don't uh, really keep it if I don't like it. Only because I know I'm never going to read it again. And I really want to have my bookshelves be books that I love or have really enjoyed and I might read again. Or books that I haven't read yet but I really want to get to. So usually when I don't like a book, I just unhaul it right away. So, so yeah, I don't have any books to share with you because I've unhauled a lot of, of the books that I just didn't really care for. So, so question number three, opening up windows and letting fresh air in, name a book that was refreshing. So the book I chose for this is By Your Side by Casey West. Honestly, when I need a break from fantasy, I always turn to a contemporary. And Casey West has like just cute, fluffy, really refreshing stories. And this one is no exception. It's just so cute and just 
cute and fluffy and I just love it. So it follows two characters, a uh, boy and a girl who get locked in a library over the course of three days. The girl suffers from anxiety, which I thought was really re well written. Um, so, so yeah, it was just really cute. And the boy is mysterious and like dark and mysterious and just, he's just really cute. <laughs> but I just really love this story and I love the library and everything. Who would not want to be locked in the library over the weekend? Like, <sighs> but, but yeah, it was a really cute, fluffy, fluffy book. And I would say it was definitely refreshing. <laughs> So, question number four is, washing out sheet stains. Name a book you wish you could rewrite a scene in. So the book I chose for this is The Afterlife of Holly Chase. Honestly, it's not really a scene. It's just like all the romance in it, I should say. Um, I just didn't care for the romance. I found it weird and creepy. So I would definitely like take that out like take the romance out of it because I just didn't really care for it it might have been a good book if that wasn't in there but I don't know so I just yeah I didn't care for that part so that would probably be the one I would say for this <laughs> sorry my nose is itching so question number five is throwing out unnecessary knickknacks name a book in a series that was unnecessary so the only book I could think of was King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Honestly, I hated this book. Um, you guys know if you have been on my channel for a while, but I just hate this book. It is so, so bad. Um, I got like 150 pages in and I just couldn't read anymore. It just irritated me so much. It just put me in a reading slump and I just could not stand the main character one second longer. She was annoying and I hated her. Like, I started like in the um the bad characters the villain characters over her and she's supposed to be the hero but i just just didn't like it i feel like although i didn't finish the whole book i feel like the first half of the book was really unnecessary she could have like condensed it down a little bit um so so yeah i just didn't like it i hated it <sighs> so question number six Polishing Doorknobs, a book with a clean finish. So the book that I chose, I had a hard time picking this one. I don't know why, but uh, I chose uh, The Daughter of the Siren Queen by Tracy Levenseller. Obviously, this is the second book in this duology. The first one being The Daughter of the Pirate King. These books are amazing. And I really feel like this one ended really well, really great. I didn't feel like I wanted to change the ending at all. I just thought it was really good how it ended. I just liked it. It was it was great. I love this series so much. I could gush about this series forever. If you guys haven't read it, it is amazing. You guys should. So the first one, The Daughter of the Pirate King, follows Alosa who is in search of this map. She's on a mission to find it and it's on an enemy ship. So she purposely gets kidnapped on this ship and let me tell you, there is so much so much going on there's so many different twists and turns and I love the the sexy male pirate in it and it's just I couldn't get enough of it so I definitely recommend this series but I really think this one had a really good ending I am so sorry my nose is just completely itchy and I can't figure out why like I'm not trying to sit here and itch my nose like so the next question is, Reaching to Dust the Fan, a book that you you think tried too hard to relay a message. I have no answer for this. Honestly, I could not think of one. I got nothing. I got nothing. So question number eight, the tiring yet satisfying finish of spring cleaning. Name a book uh, that was tiring yet satisfying to get through. So the one I chose is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. Honestly, this book took me forever to get through. I was so, so like bored in spots and I would, it was just kind of slow here and there and then it would pick up and it just took me forever to get through. Honestly, I love the first book, but this one wasn't like, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't my favorite. But I'm so glad I got through it because I'm really excited to continue on with the series and see where it goes because this one was... Hmm. 
But I really enjoyed this series. The first one is Shadow and Bone, which obviously I can't talk to you about this one because I don't want to spoil anything. But the first one follows Elena, who is a soldier in the army. And there are two types of people in this world. There are pe regular people and then there are Grishas who have powers and can do certain things. So she, Elena is just a regular person in this army till one day her company gets ambushed crossing this shadow fold. So she then summons this power she didn't know she had and she's thrust into the Grisha world and yeah, she's kind of naive and whatnot uh, with this world but I really, I really enjoyed the first book. I flew through the first book. This one, not so much. Although it's still really good, I just, it just, it took me forever. It took me forever. Yes, I'm really satisfied that I finally got through it. So question number nine, uh, looking forward to spring. Tag some people to do this. So I'm going to tag four good booktube friends. Um, the first one is Lacey over at Lacey D. Bell. Um, then I'm going to tag Jenna over at Jenna Reads. And then Heather at a long list of books. And Morgan over at Morgie Reads. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I will leave the links to uh, my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter down in the box. I will also leave the link to Enchanted Fandoms, their website, and their Etsy page. And then also all the booktubers that I mentioned uh, that I tagged in this video. So, after I said all that, I'm going to end it here. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!